name's Andy. I am Brandon's older brother, and I am now honored to be Brooke's brother-in-law. So why am I up here tonight? Well, I originally offered an interpretive dance of love with a seductive kazoo solo. Brooke, of course, was all in favor. You know how she is. Brandon said maybe not so much. Um, and frankly, as a featured extra, I probably should not have been given a speaking part at all. We'll see how the night goes. The possibility of ending the evening with my performance art is always on the table. So in preparation for today, I didn't feel my role this evening was to tell an embarrassing story about changing Brandon's diapers or to roast the happy couple. As the eldest brother, I'm here tonight to discuss the importance of time. Time is a gift, and as we all have a limited amount of it here on Earth, today we've gathered here in front of this clock tower to witness Brandon and Brooke make the decision to share that gift of time. Brandon, congratulations on finding the one. Brooke, thank you for being his one. Is there, is there one I'd want to spend about a hundred days with? Laying in the yard, staring up at stars, wondering where all the planes went. Brooke is one of the most energetic people that I've ever met, and she's always been there for me. Um, whenever we have a sports or band competition, we can always point her out of the crowd, and she's always yelling as loud as she could. Some of you guys may not realize this, okay, but Brooke has been in the entertainment business for a very long time. She got her start in the entertainment department at Six Flags near San Francisco. Yes where we three hosted the animal shows there, among other things. Brooke has always been a very hard worker, always willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Like being a man? Yeah. There was a Six Flags Justice League. Okay, guys, I was Wonder Woman. It's okay, you don't have to, you don't have to cheer, it's fine. I was Wonder, thank you. Brooke was the Joker. Brooke came to me one night we were sitting in our house, and she said, um, so I met this guy, I'm not sure if I like him, I'm not sure if he likes me, I'm not really sure how to feel, he's a little younger than me. I said, you know what, what the hell? Come on, just tell him to come over. Okay, he's gonna come over and help me with my homework. I said, great, let's get him drunk. When she introduced me to Brandon, she said he was a solid maybe. <laughs> N now that I know you a little bit better, I think you got potential. <laughs> Brooke was the showrunner, Brandon and I were producers, and we were the best trio. As we continued, I just noticed that like Brooke and Brandon would be like, all right, bye, we're gonna head out. I'm like, why are they leaving together? What I thought was a threesome became a duo, and I was off to the side. But when they announced that they were together, I was so happy because I was like, um, you two are the best people that share the best values, best giggles, and the best dick jokes at all times. Brooke stayed with me during the pandemic. And you know, we'd get around home around the same time, have a long day, and she'd be like, hey, 
You want to have a nightcap? I'm like, absolutely. Let's have a nightcap. Nightcaps turned into a nightly ritual. I won't tell you how much we were doing on a nightly basis. And I was like, wow, this is a great bonding moment with Brooke. No. She was telling Brandon that she thinks I have a drinking problem. And she was too kind to not join me because she didn't want me drinking alone. Meanwhile, I thought she had a drinking problem. And I was like, I can't keep up. And then we went sober for a little bit. And uh, yeah. So welcome back. me better than anyone else in this world and somehow you still manage to like like me today we are Facebook officially building a formidable team for life and I thank you for standing here with me today and every day since New Year's Eve of 2013 Whew. Okay. Uh, there we go to find someone as special as you out of all the people in this world that is out of this world is something I never imagined you will forever be my best friend Sorry, you gotta keep letting go of me. Okay. <laughs> Told you it's a book. I vow to always be your greatest cheerleader, no matter how many times your name crosses the screen, no matter how many Emmys you might win, and especially no matter how many times you finish last in a triathlon. <laughs> Every time. Every <laughs> time. I vow to be your partner in crime whenever we have a home too full of Amazon boxes and need to just play with our pup, drink tequila, and come up with bad ideas for our next big party like this one. <laughs> I vow that I will love your family as I love mine. I vow to always say sorry when I'm hangry, tired, and irritable. Next page. I vow to always trust your intuition and value your opinions. I vow to give my time and energy to understand your dreams. I will be there when you need me, whenever you need me. But please, let's get some sleep somewhere along the way. <laughs> As I give you my heart today, I know we will indubitably grow gray and old. So above all else, I vow to never give you up, never let you down, <laughs> never run around or desert you. In parentheses, don't cry, or do, whatever. Here we are, we've made it to this exact moment right here with all of our friends and family. And I mean all of them. <laughs> the last 30 days of wedding planning boot camp have been an absolute blast and each moment has reminded me of our, what feels like an entire lifetime ago, beginnings in college. The last couple of weeks, especially this one, have been a lot of late nights into the morning, planning, pre-production meetings, and budgeting. We've shared a few, just a couple, pretty strong drinks, working together as the best little duo to produce a quote-unquote small, not at all traditional wedding. <laughs> it took me back to cocktails where you were right there by my side, making sure me and everyone else is okay and that everyone at least had one beer in hand. <laughs> Brandon, you truly are a kind human being and you're really special 
in a town like this, and especially in our chosen industry. No matter the gig, position, you treat everyone with kindness and your friendship. You've got the biggest heart and the most sincere smile. And that smile truly lets everyone know that they are appreciated and they are loved by you. You always make me feel the most loved, even when I know I don't always deserve it. You ground me and you help me realize what's truly important. And I crossed out a bunch of stuff because I spelled it wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Brandon Dixon, for all you are and all that you make me. Some promises that I'll make to you, my husband, for the future and the rest of our lives. I'll always ask if Bruce pooped and if it was okay. <laughs> I promise to always make you laugh. I promise to love you unconditionally and to spread my love to every member of your family as you have consistently for the entire Noska family. <laughs> I promise to never stop sending you an absurd amount of eggplant emojis. <laughs> and lastly, Brandon, I promise <laughs> I'm never going to give you up. <laughs> I'm never gonna let you down. I'm never gonna run around and desert you. I'm never gonna make you cry. I'm never gonna say goodbye. You win. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. I love you, Brandon James Dixon, forever. words of Dr. Emmett Brown. Your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. Your future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. By the power vested in me by the state of California, the internet, and by the power of love, I am happy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Jen, Brooke's sister-in-law. I want to start out by saying congratulations to Brooke and Brandon, the bees, the cutest couple in the galaxy, parents to Bruce, and now husband and wife. I've known Brooke since high school, so we've shared many fun memories over the years. Some of my favorites include breaking it down in high school dance class, taking a trip to San Francisco and practicing said dance moves with the man drumming on the street, and more laughs than I can count. Fast forward many years later and I had the pleasure of meeting Brandon. Brandon, you have been so fun to get to know and I'm so excited to call you family. Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> I hope I was everything you dreamed of in a brother-in-law. With our long walks on the beach and campfire stories we told each other about life and the places we've been, I think we've all got it figured out. Brandon doesn't walk on the beach. He runs on him for these like triathlete things or whatever the French call it. And campfires? No. We freeze like men. Due to the fact that sea otter in Monterey doesn't allow campfires. Not to mention you'd probably gain more heat from the laptop and charging block you attached to your hip before you even got that fire started. But with our love for biking, and my instinctual skills for camping. You will learn, young Dixon. You will learn. Brooke, I have nothing to say to you. So back to Brandon. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Brooke, I'm so very excited for you to have found the partner you've always dreamed of. You and I have had so many great memories growing up. High ones and low ones, being siblings, of course. But the best ones I have been so lucky to be a part of. 
were the ones where all of us explored, partied, and traveled together. And I am so happy that you have allowed Jennifer and I to be part of your wild adventures and have asked us to be part of your biggest adventure so far. So to the greatest power couple I know in LA, to the most spirited party animals that I've been privileged to party with, you know what I'm talking about, I would like to raise a toast and congratulate you two and bless you two with a long, healthy, and wealthy life. May you two always find the spark that ignites your flames and never let your fire die. John 316. Cheers! <laughs> I can see that you guys just complement each other in every single aspect of life and you guys grow together and healthier and uh, I kind of think of you guys as already like an old married couple, <laughs> someone I look up to. One of the memories that always pops up in my head is go over to Brooks, Brandon's always there and he's like, what can I get you? Let me make you something. And I think that is so special. From donuts in the morning to after work beers, Brooke's leadership is inspiring. As a producer, she is fantastically organized. Ask her about the human body size stack of binders. She's determined and motivated. And that determination and motivation are qualities Brandon also has in spades. That's right, people, I'm talking about fitness. Now, at one time, Brandon was on track to becoming a top tier, grade A sedentary computer jockey but over the past couple years, he got the dumb idea to evolve into an all-star athlete. Brandon, we do not do that in this business. It wouldn't be so bad if he wasn't so modest about it. Brandon and Brooke graciously invited me to participate in the Pasadena Triathlon with them. It'll be fun, they said. Well, I bet the race photographer had a blast photographing my fun face. It is one of my, girl it's my, uh, one of my girlfriend's favorite photos of me. <laughs> Brandon and I do not remember how much time you beat me by. Please don't remind me. But that's Brandon's way. He's warm, kind, inclusive, optimistic. Brooke, good job. And funny. Brooke and Brandon's sense of humor is a place where I really see their relationship come to life. Their eyes shine. Their faces glow. At the faintest whiff of a poop, dick, or fart joke. No opportunity for a rude witticism gets by them, not one. It touches them in a deep place, if you know what I mean. And that aspect of love is worth celebrating when two weirdos find each other. Weirdos that I'm honored to call the closest of friends. I just wanna say that I pray that you both have a healthy, long marriage, a loving marriage, a blessed marriage, an abundantly blessed marriage. There's just nobody else like you two. I'm just so proud of you. Brooke, Brandon, you guys are perfect for each other. Seeing the two of you together makes any task seem achievable. So now that you guys are finally deciding to tie the knot, fuck boys, let's have a shot. Ready? One, two, three, Brooke and Brandon!